This one has to do with our political class. What is all this struggle all about? You want to kill, you want to bury. What is it all about? What is the struggle all about? I will answer you. The struggle, we are not talking politics. In 2006, I wanted to be a deputy governor. So the then deputy governor invited me and told me that this office has no money. There is nothing in it. I don't know why you still insist on moving me from here and taking over. So, a woman who went with me said, Yes, Tennessee, then don't wait for impeachment. Just resign since there is nothing in it. And he stood up and he started punching the woman. And I told him, Yes, Tennessee, don't punch her. She's telling the truth. There is nothing in the office. That's why I want it because you are too big for it. So, Yes, Tennessee, Governor Fukara, if there is nothing in the struggle, don't struggle. Our own governor of River State has given us one of the best messages we take home today. One of the so such a message we take home today. If everyone understands that we should not be struggling, can we put our hands together for our governor, please? Amen. We brought nothing to this world, we'll go out with nothing. Whether you like the struggle or not, you will struggle out one day. Praise the Lord. So Governor Fubara of River State gave a wonderful speech. He was like during the funeral of uh, uh, Wigwe, um, his wife and son. He said, what is all this struggle all about? We know that this man, Wigwe, is a, is a powerful man, a wealthy man. But you know, with all the money he had, he has, he couldn't control life. Like somebody was saying, he left Nigeria, the USA, in first class chopper or helicopter or airplane and return them buses. So uh, Governor Fubara has a powerful point there about the senior president of Nigeria, Goswil Ababi. His response was childish. I mean, we are talking about this is a day that everybody is just so uh, is, is, a, is a different not the day of uh, you know uh, it's not it's, i mean it's not even a platform for election campaign or to throw words at each other as politicians do but a whole senate president decided to pick on what governor Fubara said governor Fubara in the video he watched said what is all this life all about this is he made he made it clear that he's actually speaking to the political class the struggle, the power, you want to do this, you want to do that. This man has money. If him surviving, his wife surviving and son surviving has to do with money, if it depended on money, if money can guarantee that, I tell you, we will, his wife and son will be alive today. But the way Gospel Ababio responded to it made it look so childish. Somebody said that since uh, Gospel Ababio used to be a common governor of uh, Quite but since he joined APC, that man has, I mean, he's, he, he turned himself to a common former, former governor. I mean, the man has not been making sense. Since uh, he became the senior president, just check all the blunders he's been making. Right? Saying that the lawmakers, uh, some money had been sent to them, but, uh, than saying that the, something had been sent to their members. And a lot of things, there are lots of accusations bees passed without the most of, most of the lawmakers knowing what type of bee that is passed and all of that. Imagine, in such a day as this, is it a day or time or platform for Pablo to come and instead of him to make his own speech, you know, uh, encourage the family, encourage River State people and all that. He, 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 you see how he responded to it talking about a former governor blah 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 and all of that if there is nothing in the struggle don't struggle so i'm even ashamed of this uh gospel Ababio's reply and to even think uh, to even have the thought to, to even consider that he is the senior president of this country makes it look more sad 